India has voted in favor of the resolution just adopted by the General Assembly. The situation that this August body has been deliberating upon has many dimensions. General Assembly is now voting on draft resolution A stroke PS10 stroke. The result of the vote is as follows. 153 in favor, 10 against, 23 abstentions. The situation that this August body has been deliberating upon has many dimensions. There is the terrorist attack in Israel on 7 October and the concern for the hostages taken at that time. There is an enormous humanitarian crisis and the large-scale loss of civilian lives, especially of women and children. There is the issue of observing international humanitarian law in all circumstances. And there is the endeavor to find a peaceful and lasting two-state solution to the long-standing Palestine question. Our challenge in this extraordinarily difficult time is to strike the right balance. The gravity and complexity of what the international community faces is underlined by the Secretary General invoking Article 99 of the Charter of the United Nations. We therefore welcome the fact that the international community has been able to find a common ground to address the multiple challenges facing the region right now. I honestly don't know how can someone look in the mirror and support a resolution that doesn't condemn Hamas and doesn't even mention Hamas by name? But you know what? I have an idea. If you want a real ceasefire, here is the right address. This is the phone number of Hamas's office in Gaza. You can all call plus 970 and ask for Ichya Sinwal. Tell Hamas to put down their arms, turn themselves in, and return our hostages. This will bring a complete ceasefire that will last forever. What would your countries do if you were in Israel's shoes? Call for a ceasefire? What would Moscow do? Beijing? Istanbul? How would you respond? Everyone here knows exactly. Hamas raped women, committed heinous acts of sexual violence, took women and girls hostage, and is not only refusing to release them, but is also refusing the Red Cross's access to them. There are no war crimes more heinous than the atrocities Hamas committed, and those that support this resolution are giving the terrorists a free pass. A ceasefire means one thing and one thing only, ensuring the survival of Hamas, ensuring the survival of genocidal terrorists committed to the annihilation of Israel and Jews. Uh, 
as a Palestinian people, just we hope the uh, stop this uh, aggression from uh, Israel to Palestine. And uh, every time we are talking about this issue, it is not religions between uh, the Muslim and Jews. It is about occupied our land. It is not religions co conflict. As uh, me, as me, I am Muslim. We respect all the religions in the world and accept the Jewish uh, religions. The problem and the escalation and the conflict, it's not religions, it's about occupied our land, and it is not conflict between Israel and Hamas. Any ceasefire right now would be temporary at the best and dangerous at worst. Dangerous to Israelis who would be subject to relentless attacks and also dangerous to Palestinians who deserve the chance to build a better future for themselves free from Hamas.